grid, grid, grid. Where is it? Maybe it's under. All right, grid system. Okay, so basically, here's an example of the grid. Um, so you have these classes. If we look at this code here, we have a, a row class, which obviously represents a grid row, and then we have each column. This particular row here is going to have 12 uh, one column divs, which will look like this. Okay, so you'll have uh, 12 columns in a very small space because you're only assigning um, one column. The next one, if we look at the whoop, if we look at the code here, we have a row and then we have an eight column div and a four column div. Okay, obviously eight and four is 12. Okay, so it should always add up to 12. And you can see the example here. Here's the eight column div. Here's the four. And this is perfect for um, a, a web page where you have a sidebar. You have the main content in the eight column and then the sidebar in the four. The next one we have, actually we have three four columns, which will give us something like what we have here. Okay, we have three uh, columns right there and that's actually what we will be doing. All right, now the next one here we have two six columns which splits everything in half. So if we look at our project, um, we're using the grid for this. Okay, this is going to be one column. This is going to be another. And if we take a look at the markup, okay, you can see that we have a six column div and then another six column. Okay, so this is split right in the middle. Now, the class names, you can see we have call MD6, and this means medium MD. Um, that's going to reference when the page is is at a larger state like this. I also put um, call SM12 for when the template is smaller then I want this to take up the whole space. Same thing with the one under it. Um, so if I resize it to a smaller view you can see that now this div takes up the whole thing which is 12 columns. Okay, so you can change this uh, how many columns you want um, pertaining to the screen, the, the screen size or the browser or your device screen size. Alright, so we're going to do the grid here. Um, I'm just going to get rid of everything within the container here. So the heading, the paragraph, and the button. Even though we will be having that stuff, but I'll just add it after just so there's no confusion. Okay, so in the container what we want to do is create a new div and we want to call it row. Okay, we'll end that and then we want our first column which is going to be div class equals call md6. Okay, so that'll be one column and then we're going to have another six column div. Okay, so now we have two columns and in, or I'm sorry, two divs, two six column divs. And I'm going to add an H1 tag here. All right, and let me just copy the text we have here. Um, I'm sorry, that's not what we want. We just want this capture life. The other text is for the paragraph. All right, now I want to change the life text to be green. And remember, we had a, a class to do that. So let's add that class, which is this M text class. Okay, so to the life text here, I'm just going to put a span around it. So span class equals M text. Okay, and then we just want to end that span. And I'm using span because it's an inline element, so it's not going to cause the text to go on the next line. Okay, so I'll save that, reload, and now you can see that that is green. Now we'll do the paragraph. So I'll just copy this. 
and right under the H1 I'm going to put a P, P tag. Okay, so that's our text. And then we also want the those app buttons. Okay, so we want these app buttons. You can find those in your program files. And you want to put them inside this IMG. So I'm just going to grab them. Okay, so I'm going to grab the icons. I'm also going to grab the showcase background. Okay, so I'll put those in there. And then what we want to do is create a link. Okay, it's just going to go to nothing. And we want to put our image in there, our button images. So we want IMG. We're going to give it a class of app BTN. Uh, and then a source. And the source is going to go to IMG slash icon underscore app store dot PNG. All right, so that's one button. Now I'm going to copy this. And this one is called icon underscore Google Play. All right, so we'll save that and reload. Now, these buttons are a little too big for one thing, and they're also on separate lines, which we don't want. So let's change the, the width of these. We're going to go to Style CSS, and we're going to use the Jumbotron to reference the Jumbotron, and then the class, which is App BTN. All right, and we're going to set that to a width of 40%. And also a margin right, so they're not right up against each other. We're going to set that to 30 pixels. Okay, so that looks good. Um, now we want to add the background image. Okay, so the image of the kids, which is called Site Showcase BG. So um, we just want to apply that to the actual Jumbotron class. Okay, and we also want to add a few other things, but let's first add the background. So background URL. Okay, the URL is going to be in back in the IMG folder, and it's called site showcase bg.png. All right, we want to specify no repeat, and I also want to position it to the top center. All right, now let's just save that and reload. Oh, we didn't, did I add it? I did. Site showcase, oh, it's JPEG, not PNG. There we go. All right, so look at this text. It, you can't read it. Um, we need to change it so that the default text is gonna be white for our Jumbotron. So just add color, white. Um, I'm also going to make it higher, so height of um, 598 pixels. Oops. Okay, and then I also want to specify uh, overflow none. All right, so there is the showcase. Now we're missing the big image, obviously. That's going to be in the in the next div, um, six column div, which is right here. Okay, so we'll just throw that in image source, and that's going to be in the IMG folder. Actually, I got to bring it over. So let me see. I'm actually going to bring the rest over. We have this, 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 and this. Okay, so again, you'll find these in your folder, in your um, program files. Okay, so the image is called site underscore phone PNG. So 
So let's see what that looks like. Okay, so you'll notice that there is a little space down here, so we need to fix that. Also, I want to push this down a little. Okay, so we'll add a margin top to the H1 tag. Okay, so in the style sheet, I'm going to say Jumbotron H1, and I'm going to add a margin top of 60 pixels. Okay, so that's pushed down. Um, I'm also going to push these icons down, so I'm going to add a margin bottom to the paragraph. So margin bottom, 40 pixels. And then for the uh, phone image, I'm actually going to add a class to it. I forgot to do that. I'm going to add a class of phone. All right, actually, you know what? We should change that. That's another example of bad semantics. Uh, we want to, let's do showcase image. And the reason is maybe you'll want to change it so that it's not a phone image, it's some other, something else. Um, and then having a class of phone doesn't make sense. It'll always be a showcase image. So let's use that. And then we're going to say, Jumbotron showcase image and I'm just going to set a width of 75% uh, alright so you know what uh, I think I put the wrong height for this the Jumbotron Let's try 500. There we go. So that should be 500, not 598. So that's the showcase or Jumbotron, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to stop the video here and in the next one we'll continue down and we'll do the three column uh, divs next.